Experts say, while times have definitely changed for kids, plenty of old-fashioned parenting advice is as relevant as ever. I am so excited we decided to weigh in on this in real talk. Of course, our friend, author Dina Babel, is back. General sales manager of Mercedes-Benz of Buckhead, Jason Reeves, is here Ooh. and making her real talk debut, host of MommyTalkShow.com, Joyce Brewer. Welcome. Thank you. And welcome back. <laughs> and Dina, you're always here. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. I am well, so, nice to meet you. I am <laughs> so excited to chat. A quick review as we're talking about parenting. Two girls, as you guys know, uh, almost nine and 11. I have one son and he's nine. One son and nine, okay. Yep, Jordan Jason. and Rod are six and four. Six and four girls. Yeah. Six and eight. Six Going and eight. 40. Yeah, right. no kidding. <laughs> all right, so I want you all to weigh in. So uh, Romper put together a list of parenting experts. Um, we're talking old-fashioned parenting tips uh, that you may want to consider making new again if they are not new in your house. So see what you think. Number one, say no and mean it. Temple. Licensed mm -hmm. clinical psychologist Dr. Kreisberg says decades of psychological research shows children thr th thrive when their parents have an authoritative parenting style. Of course, you can be warm, you know, um, very um, empathetic, all those things, but be committed to your decisions. Who agrees? Oh. You can't be wishy-washy at know. all. When I say no, it means no. And it doesn't mean you go ask your dad. It means no. no. That's it. No yes. means no. I got another little thing. I'm pretty authoritative in the group, but I think if you're over the top authoritative, then the kids are going to lie and they're going to hide and cheat anyway. That's, that's my two cents. I think you have to put your foot down. They have to know you mean business, but sometimes you have to yield and change with the times and be a little malleable. Yeah. That's right. my thought. I mean, I, I can see that if you're too much, then right. I don't want anybody starting a fib with me, you no, know, right. because no, of, no. of being too yeah. strict. You know, I believe that that no means no. And, you know, and as a result <laughs> of that, it's, it's turned my children into the contestants for America's Next Greatest Debaters. Jordan and Riley coming for you, didn't say by the way. <laughs> But we're not having ice cream for breakfast this morning. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. No. Right. Mm -hmm. Because then it's it comes into a lot of negotiating and a lot of back yes. and forth. And who has time for all that? I, I mean, don't. I have one child. Y'all have multiple kids. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to go back and forth and no. No. Now, means okay, no. so let me ask you this. Do, mm -hmm. do your spouses agree with the way y'all do? Do they say no means no too? Yes. yes. My spouse That's backs good. Me up. See, I'm not in that lane. We're but not having ice cream for breakfast. You have to be on the same page. You have uh, to honey, be. I know. Yes. John, hello. <laughs> well, we've talked about on the show. Jim will do that Monday morning quarterbacking, which I have Ooh, now I been like, no, no, sir. He'll go, I just, you could have handled that so much better. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Were you standing right here when all that was going down? You're the dad. Say something. Don't just then judge me. And yeah. he's like, that's a little I don't like, but Yeah, who, that's John and Jim would be friends? Yeah. Well, no, John likes to be our, John's a great dad, let me say. I mean, he's awesome. But sometimes he cares a little bit more maybe about being their friend. And okay, I well, want that's, to hey, a little bit no, well, aggressive. great segue, because that's number two. You are not your child's BFF. Being the cool mom might not always benefit your child. You have to have boundaries. You have to help them abide by them, and you have to teach them mutual respect and responsibility. Ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm definitely probably not their best friend. And I think we have to have, like, I tell our son, there are certain things we can talk about in front of you, but there are certain things we don't yeah. talk about in front of you, too. Yeah. You're a child. There's a time to go away and have your moment to yes. yourself while your dad and I discuss something. Right. Children don't need to know everything. They don't need to know everything that's going on with you emotionally. If yes. you're having a bad day, that's not their responsibility. Ooh, I like that too. Right. I mean, do okay. you? No, absolutely. I believe that, you know, that being a parent, um, I'm responsible for making tough decisions. I'm responsible for making things that, that protect them, mm -hmm. that save their lives. Their best friends may not ha always have mm -hmm. their best interest at heart. Right. I will and my wife will. Yes. Yeah. I think boundaries are really important because it teaches the kids to say, okay, I can say no too and I can disagree as well, which right. you were talking about debating. So I think that's important. But being your BFF, my mom was my very best friend. I still talk to her all the time. And I think it helped me in a lot of ways, but I think there are times where maybe sometimes you also feel like you could be parenting them if you don't stand your guard. So I think stand in your guard and saying, yep. I'm the parent, this is what's gonna happen right. is always the best. Yes, yes. I, I, I do see friends um, who are, maybe it's a mother-daughter's relationship, kind of in that high school, really trying to be the best friend. Mm -hmm. And it's just interesting me for me, I'm observing, because I, I understand you kind of want to be in the know, especially these right. this day and age, but 
at some point, right, you've got to... But gotta, that's a slippery slope because then is. the lines get blurred. They and do, And I yes. am the parent and you are the child. I think right. it's hard with a little girl. Boys, yeah. you can kind of, I'm yes. a parent, you're the child. Girls are like, well, i got to tell you something else then. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to make sure we get this a good list. Uh, number three, eat together. This mm. We haven't been great about this this year with activities. How many, uh, okay. I eat together in, in Chick-fil-A. Yeah. You can eat together, yes. You can yes. eat together in the car on the way home sometimes. I agree. I agree. Sometimes you have to be flexible. Yeah. As long as you're together, having conversation over a meal, I think that is important. Eye contest. Yeah, I agree. I contest. Schedule it, be intentional about it. It may look different from the way that it looked when we were kids, yes. but it's important to sit down know, and I'm have that moment that potatoes. we're looking forward to. Yeah, <laughs> it does look way different. I mean, yes, my dad cooked, uh, he was an amazing cook. My mom was sort of the sous chef, as we joke. She was the vegetable lady, he was the main course. Right. And But we those, those were good times. So if you can't, yeah. you know, try and schedule it. If it doesn't always work out and it's Chick-fil-A, it's fine by, I mean. My mom uh, burned everything, so. So do I. But we, I mean, she, she, can can so she can burn some chicken, a pancake, right. she burns it up. Toast. Toast, yeah. Toast. 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 So much. You need a moment to, to pause. Spray. I think yes. kids need more time to pause no and wind down than we realize. No kidding. And so they're I not overscheduled. Yes, mine are not overscheduled. I went a little light this year, maybe almost too light. <laughs> but you know what? I just, it, it, it's too much. Mm -hmm. I'm not that, okay, now Monday we have this and Tuesday we have that. It's like, chill out. Yeah. yeah. Gonna, you know, be mentally let them get bored. stressed and, yes, let them get bored, which is another one. Okay, speaking of eating, another rule that may be worth bringing back I do this, make one meal for dinner, people. Mm -hmm. oh. Your child does not like no. what you made? Absolutely not. I, I have trouble with my sweet Kate, who has pneumonia, Kate, I love you. But I mean, she has gotten so picky and I'm like, too bad, this is what I made. Does she eat it? Not all the time and it, it really bothers me. Like I'm like, well, she's no. just gonna go to bed a little hungry, but I'm like, this is all I'm making. Not making you something It's hard else. when you've been cooking or you're working and you come home yes. and you try to cook a meal and my daughter walks in. My son will eat anything and my daughter's like, you uh, know I don't like that. No, and I'm no. like, girl, you better sit down and eat it because right. you're just going to have to deal with it. But the truth is, I, when I was young, I was very picky and I wouldn't eat. And I remember the pediatrician told my mom, she'll eat when she's hungry. So yeah, I put it out there, and then about not eight o'clock before they get ready to go to bed, I'm hungry. I'm like, "Were you going to bed with some water, yeah, honey?" Yeah, I know, no. Jason. How are your girls? Oh, well, here's the way this works for me. My wife and I have an agreement. We're not running a 24-hour diner. Yeah. We're yeah. not putting roast beef at table one. <laughs> yeah. Table two is getting fish sticks. No. Right. It's one thing I at a time. I love fish sticks. I know. Right. I do too. I think, but you do have to adjust. You have exactly. to think about in this day and age, our son has food allergies, so there are some things that he just can't have. Mm -hmm. So there are nights that if date nights are always seafood because we can't eat seafood at home. He's yeah, allergic. Yeah. So that makes oh, sense. Right. But then you also have to think about there are some kids that have texture issues. They have learning disabilities. Yeah. So I think I'm a little bit more flexible. I think if my child had, of course, of course. we have to do it for food yeah. allergies and other things. But if general, general. If everybody's okay and you can eat everything, you eat whatever. What is it? Else my is grandmother eating. or my mom? You know, kitchen is closed. Right. Like uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm like, does that mean I can't get water? I'm all confused. What? Right, I was like, right. you're strict. <laughs> all right. Number five. Let them play outside. Let them play outside. It's easy these days to become paranoid about letting kids play outside, but experts say, honestly, the kids are missing out. Mm -hmm. Breathing that fresh air. I mean, I know we've had kind of rain and, and cold. And it allows this last them week. to be creative. Oh, and Stuff to I do know. and go play with their neighbors. And I mean, my son, w one day he wanted to sit inside and play one of his video games. And I kept telling him to go outside. And I saw him with a backpack, and he was—he's a little bit of a hoarder. He was putting all this stuff in his backpack, <laughs> and he got a stick, and he's like, "I'm going hiking." And he was in the backyard, and I was like, "How cute is this?" He wouldn't have hiked watching Dennis yes. Daly. No, yes. he wouldn't oh, have. Yes. Um, we only have about a minute left, so I, I want to get six. Number you acknowledge the adults. How important? I, I know you. You're very well mannered. Yes. So is your beautiful yes, wife. Like Thank you. making sure <laughs> you, you don't have to force them to kiss or hug somebody, but mm -hmm. eye contact, manners, making yes. conversation. Yes, yes. ma'am. Acknowledgement, a good firm handshake. Oh, well, you got that one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You greet yes. adults, you say hello. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. You open the door for women. I'm really big about that with my son. Yeah. But do you, yes. the door. And do you find them, even if they're a little shy, how do you get them to come out of their, uh, you know, out of their shell? I model it. Okay. I model it. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I have you a know talkative what? child, so that's not an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I've taught my kids, if you get a compliment, to find something nice to say back to someone. Oh, and I can, good. sometimes yeah. my daughter's like, oh, oh, that, yeah. I like your teeth. I mean, like, <laughs> so whatever. But if you do that, that makes them come back with something. Yeah. All right. We've got some comments. Thank you for weighing in on our Facebook page. Lauren, who is my cousin, it just so happens and always watches and supports me. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, she says, I uh, love this. We do every single one of these. Thank you, Go Lauren. Lauren. That's 
because our families raise us that way in Tampa, Florida. Thank you yeah. so much. Tampa, okay, and then uh, Julie says, I think I got them all. Oh wait, mm -hmm. and so yes, yeah, so how, how? So how did I do? I think I got them all. Oh, it's so asking uh, Dar Danley. So weigh in. Like, how do you do it? And make sure you're doing it as a team because I think that's the key there. Yes. You gotta you gotta co-parent together. Mm -hmm. And then if you're checking off all the boxes and doing it right, well then hopefully you raise a well-adjusted child. That's we can only hope. Yep. I like the old school way. I can, Me too. I'm an older parent. I was raised by older parents, and I think it just carries through. It works. Absolutely, yes. it, it works. works. I love y'all. Y'all are great. Why am I talking with an accent? Because everyone here is talking with an accent. Yeah. Okay, sure but these two. I love it. Training with Trent. It's coming up next.